The Christmas Story on Donovan's Reef. And then from the east came three wise men, three kings, bearing gifts, to gaze upon the child and to kneel before him in adoration. The king of... Polynesia. King of the United States of America. So, that brings us to a pun on guess what? The United States did have a king. It's called King George III, who was really George Washington. Now, this is from my other channel, The Elect of Seed, Matthew 24 24. They borrowed the images of King George III and created a fictional character called George Washington. Let's listen to the video. Happy birth, B-E-R-T-H, day George Washington is King George III. Happy birthday dear Mr. Washington who is King George III happy birthday to you all right now the photo you're looking at or the drawing or the painting is just nonsense there never was an individual in the land we call America by the name of George Washington who was the father of our country it was image management it was PR before anybody called it PR what do you mean well I'm going to show you what I mean This is a little book that I made up with the so-called presidents. Now take a look. George Washington on the left, the upper left. Take a look. Down in the right, King George. They're identical. <laughs> now somebody might want to postulate he had a twin brother. No. Well, if he did, it would have been mentioned somewhere. But no, he's not a twin brother. It's just an image. By witchcraft, they created a character called George Washington. And by witchcraft, they sold the character to the colonists 
and to every American, and most likely to you, my listener, and to me. We were indoctrinated when we went to school. We were told the man up there is the father of our country. George Washington. But we were told also that the colonists fought against another George, King George III. I was fortunate to find two photographs where, or I mean paintings, excuse me, <laughs> where uh, the portraits, the faces pointed in the same direction. In fact, it is very possible that the artist who conducted or drew these or painted these paintings was the same individual and they just simply had King George change clothing. Take a look at the hairdos. The hairdos are same. The nose is the same. The chin is the same. Everything is the same. But yet, because you were taught in school, George Washington is the father of our country. No, he was birthed. B-E-R-T-H-E-D. Birthed. He was put in the dock of people's minds and the birthday that you're celebrating is a B-E-R-T-H birth of a vessel that doesn't really exist but existed in the minds of Americans and you know what this is just a little footnote <laughs> by about 1800 or so, obviously the American people got very, very suspicious and they wanted to start seeing documents. Well, the controllers, namely the English, didn't want this because they knew the hoax would be up and hence there was the War of 1812 <laughs> and the burning of the White House and so forth. Anyhow, that was just a little added footnote. This is about the birthday, B-E-R-T-H, of Washington, who never existed except in the minds of people and in the propaganda printed in newspapers and in portraits presented And King George. Take a look, my friend. You can see it, can't you? It's so obvious. It is so obvious that I don't need to do anything further than just show you these two paintings. Thank you for watching. Okay, so let's go back to Donovan's Reef and replay that wonderful scene. <laughs> Where the third king comes to the manger of the Christ child. The king of... The king of the United States of America. There's your king, Washington. Thank you for watching. End of video.